Okay, capacitors are in the circuit now. Batteries are out of the circuit. Slow down just a little. Okay. Which shows you that capacitors aren't quite as efficient as batteries. That's why it slowed down. You, you both heard that probably. Sure. But it's still running. So you lose about 10 or 20% of your efficiency from, from capacitors versus batteries. Is that right? Yeah, that's about right. Okay. And I'm going to attempt to pull this off here without electrocuting myself. Okay. There we go. Very good. There we go. So the batteries are out of the system. Yes. And we have right now a self-sustaining power supply. That's correct. Can this be scaled up? Oh yeah, we've already done it. We run cars and houses. And this is a delay line motor. This is one of the earliest ones we built. This is over 10 years old. Now, what does the term delay line motor mean? Well, it's actually delay line generator, but uh, the mode, you know, anything that sits and rotates, people like to call them motors. Uh, but uh, yeah, technically, it's a delay line generator. Uh, a generator means it generates electricity. A motor means it produces mechanical motion, which this does produce mechanical motion. So, and technically, it's a motor and a generator. Okay. You could, you could use, you could load the shaft, which I'm doing right now. Now, normally, these capacitors, if there wasn't enough power being produced, if it was just running on capacitors, these things would be dead in less than two or three seconds. Okay. But and if you loaded it, it would be done dead in a half a second. You bet. Now we're actually loading it, and anybody's welcome to give put it, their finger on it. And just give it a over, squeeze. Just don't overdo it. You know, would you, would you like out. to touch it? <laughs> no, no, okay. Right now. Yeah, okay. but anyway, you get the idea. You can you can load it here, slowing down. It's still juicing. Uh, it's, but it's still going. Can you give me the theory on this real quick? Well, energy is uh, is very very abundant in nature. It's it's in what what's called uh, the ether or uh, it's substrate of the universe or zero point. It's in the environment. It's in the environment, and basically there is a way to harness it. It's it's not electrical in its primary state, and that's what confuses people. The main expression we're used to is gravity. Uh, we do see it in the storms. A uh, storm is a free-ranging three stage three device, same thing as this. A storm and this are both, well, this is stage one of stage three, and the storm is stage one of stage three, because uh, you don't have stage three until you get it stable. You get it totally continuous. Storm, storms are continuously arcing, big, huge arcs we call lightning. And that's the expression of the, the substrate of the universe. And there's billions and billions of watts being expended every minute on this planet. There's like something like 200 storms going on all the time on this planet. And uh, and they're all they're lots and lots of lightning being every second, big huge bolts of lightning, millions and billions and trillions of watts of power. And your device doesn't seem to be slowing down at all. No, no it's it's. Now is it this okay. putting out electricity? Yeah, or yeah, just it's, maintaining it convert, itself. It converts the the dominant into electrical energy. What would have to be done to make this a power supply? Would you have to boost the large generator that you have here, or is it the, a matter of your capacitors? What would you have to do? Uh, it's it's got to be re-engineered. 